And also the new stance adopted by the Dutch government regarding the execution of the Iranian Dutch national. What about the prospect of Iran? Netherlands relations. Hmm. As for irresponsible comments of Dutch officials regarding uh, that issue, I should say that it's really regrettable to see countries that claim defending human rights. They always try to make believe they are highly civilized countries. They support cases that are either kind of related to crime, treason, betrayal, or smuggling of narcotics. Then the world public opinion will judge the people that for campaigning uh, narcotics has put uh, the lives of 4,000 people on the line and 4,000 people got killed. Is this country civilized or a country that when it comes to a case of a smuggler that is both recognized as a criminal in the Netherlands and also in Iran when she is arrested at the time of uh, drug trafficking right-handed and this is indefensible case. They turn it to a human rights issue and they try to exert this political pressure on our people. Well, people will pass judgment for themselves to say which country is more civilized. I think the course that the Western countries are, have taken uh, leaves nowhere. It's a dead end. If the countries, those countries' ideas uh, are fulfilled in, even in their own regions, unfortunately, countries like the Netherlands that have such measures on the agenda, they will turn in the future to countries that are that will be full of drug traffickers and criminals of various kinds. Another instance of this wrong path that Western countries have taken, especially the Netherlands, can be seen in support for terrorist groups. And those whose dossiers uh, have recorded 12,000 12, assassination attempts. And unfortunately, these countries that are claimants of human rights, they lend support to those terrorist groups. And the attitude of these officials are turning those countries into a hotbed and shelter for terrorists and drug traffickers.